The following program is rated TVMA. What you are about to watch contains explicit language, adult themes, violence, and may not be suitable for viewers under 18. Viewer discretion is strongly advised. So we have uh, local terror here. We have local terror. What up, what up, what up, what up? Yep, yep. Uh, so what we're doing is we're getting his reaction to the new Jason Aldean song. Uh, just went number one. Has over. That pause, Mike Selecta. Digging the music. It's pretty dope. All right. What about the message? I don't know. Me personally, I feel like the message is a little, a little superficial. You know what I mean? A little superficial. I mean, I get what he's saying. You know what I'm saying? Right. Try that shit. But you see, um, it's kind of got like that this. fuck around and find out. Yeah, it has that fuck around and find out. But it it, it has like the, the 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 century old, you know, uh, small town versus city boys. You know what I mean? Um, which has always been like a little little thing, right? You're right. a small town, right? And then you got the city boys, right? Right. They're completely different, you know. Now, but, and he's, uh, do you sense any racism in there? No, not really racism. I, I do. The only problem that I particularly see is that, like, um, they're showing all this stuff. You know, they're showing all this stuff, right? Right. But, like, there's no, there's no other message besides try that shit around here and get smacked. There isn't no message as to well uh, what what exactly is going on now. I, I understand it's a song, right? So you can't fucking go into all types of details and all this stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. But there's a reason for me why I think there's a reason why people are doing this, you know. Obviously, people aren't just going out and rioting and burning cars and right, like right, music. right. You know what I'm saying? Right. I rides. like the song too. I I, I do. Uh, it does. I, could, I I understand. I could I could see where there's a lot of people uh, that would relate to the song you know what i'm saying yeah so so the analogy i used with biz was all right let's say um you're in new york right and you go into the subway right and you see somebody getting their purse stole the odds are somebody stepping in is probably a million to one right we are, we saw what happened when somebody stepped in and and helped out of. If you if you look at it from the perspective of a small town. Now I live in a small farming community. If you needed help or you uh, had an issue with your farm, your neighbor would come help you. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what he's getting at. Is like is like and 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 let's say uh, some somebody went on your property, right? Right. Your neighbor would be like, "Hey, man, I've never seen you around here before. You need to get. You need to get. Right. right. I think right. that's where this song is going. In my opinion, that's where I uh, think it's. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's definitely where the message is at. That's definitely where the message is at. You see, I was born in New York. Right. 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 That's pretty much as city as you could fucking possibly get. Right. Right. Life is a bit different when you are in a a city of that magnitude." Because you don't have one, two, three, four, five neighbors. You right. understand what I'm saying? Right. Your neighbors, they stack them. There's so many people. There's 500 in, in New York City, they stack them high. Yeah. Right? So now, if you think about it, if there's 500 neighbors, how many of those 500 are fucking wacko? That's another, fucking that's another thing I was telling Biz. You can't, you, you can't, it's not, you don't have the luxury of 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 a small town of having four neighbors and knowing each and every one of those neighbors right 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 in new york city you got 600 people around you you who don't know who the fuck the whack job is right you see what i'm saying yeah 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 so yeah, yeah. so I, I do appreciate what he's saying and i get it you know but i think a little bit is the closed mindedness not because he chooses to but simply due to the fact of where he grew up at, 
what he mostly knows, right? If I was from a small town, I wouldn't be able to comprehend what I just explained to you. Like, I understand when I'm sure you understand when I'm explaining it to you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. Right. But that's not your innate thought. Right. Because you're, let's say, from a small town. You always been from a small town type of deal. I haven't. But, yeah, I grew up in oh, Southern you, California. Well, I'm saying like like what I what I feel like people like this guy is talking about. You know what I mean? Right. Jason Aldean. Right. You know what? Uh, what I think he's getting at is you're less likely to see some of the stuff, some of the visuals that are in the video in a small town. Uh, I see it everywhere. I mean, here's the thing. Here's one, one, one thing that I see heavily, and we'll get back to the video in a second. I guess I'll close out my thoughts for this little piece right here in just a second. I've learned that small town folk, right, uh, really gravitate to because it, it was bred into them is the loyalty to America. I grew up and we used to sing, I mean, we, we used to recite the Pledge of Allegiance right. every morning at school. Right. right, right. That is a form of indoctrinization. So now, as free-thinking people, right? right, I love America. America is the fucking greatest country in the world, and I would never change any of that shit. I agree. But, but to... Put a blind eye towards um, the 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 lack in the American country. You know what I mean? Yeah. We're not perfect. Nothing is perfect. Oh, you know what I mean? No. And you cannot blindly be loyal and say, "Well, America, there's nothing wrong with America. America, you know what I'm saying, is perfect." That part I do have an issue with. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't really say. I. I wouldn't say he's going as far as that. I think it's. Well, they showed. Well, they showed. They showed like. They showed a little clip. I'm not sure exactly where just now where, people were burning, the American flag. Oh yeah, that that caught me in my feels, big dog. Right. So now that that is that is I I get it. That's disrespectful. Right, that's disrespectful yeah. as fuck. Right, because if is. you're if you live in America, uh, you are gaining all the privileges of being an American. Right, which m- no other country has in the fucking world. You know what I mean? Right. But at the same token, like, um, I just feel like they 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 have to make a statement to at least be heard or be seen some way somehow. And what 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 else is gonna make you? wonder well what the fuck are these people talking about like why are they it makes you ask the question right like why are they burning the american flag right yeah so you know anyway hit that shit let's hit this shit it's kind of it brings me back to that thing you said about about wackos which one of them's the wacko you one know of them's the wacko, was you it know? the one so, that lit the was it one that lit the flag on fire or was it one of the ones that instigated it standing around him you know Look, man it's 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 not like i said there's there's certain things which i agree upon and i understand like like small city uh small town folk right they're really big on um you know you respect the country right yeah yeah i agree you know you know um they're really big on um uh you know uh having the back of police right which is true because police right they're just like anybody else that's their fucking job you know if anything they're even more dedicated to this country because they're right. putting their life at risk every right. single day every single second you know i agree but but you cannot just blanket statement like yo you need to respect all police because let's be honest all police aren't no. straight up right? no because there's, there's a lot of them that are crooked right there, yeah there's way more that are crooked than you would think Right, and a lot, and a lot of the problems. I mean, it's, it's systemic. I mean, a lot of the problems has to do with their training. They're not trained right, you know. Yeah, and they're, they're not. They're not. They're, they're not. They're not. They're not. And you think about it. Like, whenever you go to a job and you're a brand new person on the job, does your trainer train you fucking exactly what you need to do? Fuck no, man. Job? Fuck no, dude. He's like, here's fucking a pamphlet. Fuck Watch this video. <laughs> fucking oh, I'll be back in ten minutes when the video's over. You and know. there you go. Except this fucking job. Oh, here's your key. You going... Here's your key so you can get in to do your job. Uh-huh. And sign this paper for the key. It's like, all right, that's it? 
That's what I'm saying. You know. So what I mean? now I'm gonna now. come in in the middle of the night and just fuck off because I can because you didn't train me right. So you know. so it's it's the way I feel for it is that there's no I I think like in this climate that we currently in right where right. let's be honest shit is all fucked up you know yeah yeah um I wish that there was more context to what he was saying or exactly are you at like are you just like no matter what let's throw the blind eye and america is the greatest fucking country in the world and we're fucking perfect don't talk shit to police or don't riot against the police because the police um there has to be change there's never been a significant change in human history that did not require some sort of violence okay right um, and, and we talked about that i don't Okay, so this podcast doesn't doesn't condone violence. We don't condone violence, okay? No. However, we don't violence. however, sometimes violence is necessary under the right circumstances. Histo historically, His right? Right. Historically, historically right? Historically, yes. there has been no uh, big revolution without violence. We're just speaking about history. We're not right. saying we condone violence. What we're saying is in history, okay? Um, you know, you have certain people that do, you know, that's cool, that's for route, and they do get some sort of progress, right? Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, it, it just is what it is. So, uh, yeah, like, I'm not sure if he's just singing on the part of the old, uh, of the, the the small town folk that are just like, oh, you you're I, fighting against the police. I, I think I think okay. So so this is my take on it, and this may be a different take than than you you have taken. So my take on this song is, all right, look here, thug. You want to go and you want to loot a Walmart. You want to loot a fucking Target. You want to you know fucking burn down a police station. You want to whatever. Come to a small town and see what happens. Basically, yeah. what I think he's saying. That's yeah, I, no, that's yeah. my and, take and, on and, it. And in any other circumstance, I would say completely right, completely right, right. Like there's there's let, let, let's be honest, there's hooligans out there. That's and miscreants out there. But I think that's who he's talking bullshit. to. I think that's who he's talking but, to. He's like, hey, right. fuck around and find out. Yeah, but I'm looking at the imagery, and the imagery is is is. is let, let, let's hit play and let's see a little bit more. Yeah, because he does he does kind of break it down at the end. And if I, it was if it was a random dude that 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 took an old lady's purse, right? Yeah, which that actually around, did fuck happen. Around and, fuck, fuck around and find out. Right. right. All of those, all of those, all this video is from 2020. Just so you know. Oh yeah, nah. I'm, yeah. Press play, man. Let's all right, let's go. Enjoyed it. I, I like the once, song. I like I like the song. I like the music. I like that shit. I like the you message. Know what I, mean? I just I just I just don't I don't know, man. You know what I mean? Like um I got a weird way of thinking, I guess, Ranger. I got a weird way of thinking, right? So remember I went back a second ago and I was like, Well, you know, uh there's always been uh a discrepancy between small town folk and city folk. Yeah. Right? The way I think about it is, is like, even though the small town folk may not understand certain things and why they occur. Okay. Out of 10. Okay. So you know the view. You, you, yeah, I do. Okay. So, so the view, uh, I'll tell you what Whoopi said and you, you can, you can research this later, but. Uh, Whoopi said that basically uh, he's attacking BLM. That this I uh, didn't I didn't see anything specific that towards this, BLM. That this is racist and that he's trying to bring back lynching. And uh, uh, I wouldn't go. I wouldn't. I didn't get that from the video. And that he's uh and that he's trying to uh, what was it curfews. I, I remember something about curfews and and being a person of color. Uh, I can't. I, I still didn't. I still. I didn't get any of that from this video. What I what I do get is 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 uh two ideologies that are are clashing. 
You know what I mean? Right. The small time folk ideology versus the city folk. You know what I'm saying? Right. Okay. Um, because most of the shit that they showed in there, except for little pieces, you know, when the kid was jumping over the, the cash register with a gun, that could happen anywhere. I mean, that could happen in a small town. It could happen in, right. you know, and I it think, could happen anywhere. I think that's what he was getting at was, hey, uh, look, if you come. Now, there was another. I don't know if you saw that other one. There was another one where two two dudes walked in. One had a gun. There's a white dude there. Military guy. He snatched the gun out of the fool's hand and knocked him to the ground. I was like, we're not having that here. You know, we don't we don't play that way. Oh, yeah. I mean, what the fuck? You know, I, I, I like the message. As far as I'm concerned, the message is good. I think if if, you know, more people were like, OK, look, you know. Let's say let's put it this way. If you, me, uh, PB and Biz all live together like on a compound and shit, right? It would be I'll like that. Out, bro. It would I'll be. be the, I'll be the Charles Manson of that. You know what I'm saying? We, but but we we'd all fucking we'd all help each other out. It would be like a small town. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. It would be different. Be you and I coming from big cities. Right, we would still have that big city feel, but if we were in like a like a small town, we would, right. you know. Well, that well, yes, and I agree. I mean, that particular message, right? That's that's a cool message, right? That's a cool message. I, you should I agree. have, you should have your neighbors back. You know what I'm saying? Like, yes, we should all prosper. We should all prosper. And right? that's one thing I was um, telling. That's one thing I was telling Biz was that. You know, okay, so I'll tell you the truth. Back in California, I didn't know my fucking neighbors. I didn't know who lived on the right of me or the left of me or across the street. But right here, bro, I know fucking Sean lives over there. Fucking Juan lives over there with his wife and three kids, right? And they're fucking bomb-ass people. They're like, hey, man, you want to come over for fucking tacos or whatever, right? Sean's kind of keep to himself, but hey, you know. Oh yeah, I agree. My my whole thing is I I wish that uh, because he preaches that message, right? I wish there was. It's like one dimensional. He's preaching the right message, right? Yeah. But then he sees something going on, right? And I feel that he doesn't even bother to ask himself the question: Well, why is that occurring? And if that's occurring, and he understands, like, let's say that little protesting or whatever. Yeah. Let's just say, right? Yeah. yeah. Let's just say those people were protesting because a uh, certain group of people were, uh, were, were being denied, let's say, certain rights. Let's just say certain rights okay. that you believe you, that, that preaching his word, right, everybody should have. Right. Everybody right. should have the right to whatever, whatever it may be. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, if if. Uh, if he took a second to stop and ask, why is it that this this group of pe people are attacking the officers? Well, you never know. Maybe the officers, they were peacefully protesting and this officer came and fucking pepper sprayed everybody in that shit. Right. This is true. There, you're right. There is no context. There is no. There is no context. There is now, no context on either side. There. On e on either side. You see what I'm saying? On yeah. Either side. You know. Um. But there should be if something as serious as that is going down. Like for me, it's serious that you burn the American flag, right? Yeah, yeah. If yeah. I see somebody, if I'm walking down the street and I see somebody burning the fucking American flag, I need to find out like why, like what the fuck is going on. Like, I'm busting what, a motherfucker what, in the what, face. What what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Either you're a fucking wacko, right? Yeah. Either you're a fucking wacko or like like what the fuck are you trying to say? And then it's up to you as a free thinking fucking person to decide. Well, either the message he's trying to uh, give out it makes sense, you know? Right. Or if he's just a fucking wacko. And he right. should get busted in his fucking head for that and, shit. And you know that's I mean? and that's what I that's what I told Biz. Okay, so uh, a lot of those, a lot we don't know the context, but like I said to Biz, I said I said, look, bro. I said all it takes is one psycho, 
and you can get a hundred people to fucking go crazy and fucking and loot and riot. All it takes is one. You take, you know, one person takes the lead, busts the fucking window, runs in. Well, guess what? They're like, oh, he did it. I can do it too. It's now you, now you've turned a whole group of motherfuckers. In. Like uh, the example I gave him is is in in prison. While I was in prison, you know, you see one guy, right? He's like, you're not going to fucking disrespect me. And then he takes off on the fucking biggest dude or the, you know, the white dude takes off on the black dude or the white dude takes off on the Mexican or the Mexican takes off on the white dude. It's it. Either way, it takes one fucking psycho and then everybody's fighting. Uh, you also, I don't know, man, this shit really goes deep. Oh, it does. This shit, goes, sure. this shit goes really deep. Like, I think a lot of... Even or not, man, because remember I told you, like, a lot of this shit that goes, like, it goes, like, ever since you could remember, man, it's always been the 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 small-town folk really don't, there's an angst between them and the city folk, right? I think. Oh, look, at these, look at these city slickers, right? I, I, and yeah. Then, and, then, and then from the city side, right, it's. Well, look at these little honky tonk motherfuckers from a honky tonk town. They don't know shit, right? So that that flavor is from both sides, right? It's from yes. both sides, right? Yeah. It's from fucking both sides. I mean, there just needs to be. I wish that society was more towards. I guess what he's preaching, because what he's preaching really ain't ain't. He's saying, "Yo, respect America. America is the fucking best country." Look, he's standing right there in that in that freeze frame. Yeah, American flag there. You know what I mean? Uh, he's talking about thieves and shit. Like, he's that. That's what I feel like he's talking about. He's like, yo, if you're thieves or if you're a hooligan and you're just trying to start trouble and shit like that, like, like come and find out over at the small town. You're not gonna get 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 that going in the small town, right? Yeah. But but it's not that. That's like so one dimensional to me. That's that's not all that that that's going on like no i'm right there with you i'm right there with you because i deal with you know big town fucking issues yeah, i work but, in a small town huh? so i see that side and i also live in a big town so i, I see that side too and i I'm live like, in a small town buddy i live in a small I, I come out of my community and there's fucking fucking ranches with horses and the fucking cross the street is right. big ass fucking botanical right shit they're growing fucking trees and flowers and all types I, of shit I've, I've seen where you live I mean, brother brother yeah. i've 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 been i've had i i've had the now nah, my shit is crazy because i've had the privilege of being born in new york which is that city as you could possibly get oh, yeah. right i've i've moved down to fort lauderdale which is not as big as new york city but still a city right but it's yeah, a yeah. Su southern city right right even right. though even though southern right. states don't count florida right being down south but, but hey, it whatever. is but it is. But it Fuck is. around and find out, right? That's right. So anyway, so from there, right? But then I've also had family that are from other countries, right? And I've had the privilege of going to these other countries. And when you go to these other countries, you really realize, like, oh, shit, like, like you're privileged to be in the United States. That's one thing. Okay. And I always, I always tell people this, and 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 they're like, ah, oh, okay, whatever. When I was, when I was uh, 15, 16 years old, right? My dad took me down to Mexico. We we went on a trip, a fishing trip, actually, right? Yeah. We went to Mexico, so, uh, uh, Baja California is what they called it, right? It's Mexico, right? You go down that there. This is Mexico? Yeah, it's still Mexico. Really? Yeah. Baja California? Yeah, it's still Mexico. Yo, holy shit, bro. Today I learned. Go ahead. So, uh, where be the only reason I know that is because where where uh, the American colony that we went to, right? Mm -hmm. There's a Mexican uh army base right there. And they're right oh, there. I've they're always thought fucking Baja California was just like somewhere in fucking California, dude. No, it's part shit. of Mexico, bro. You actually have to go through the border and all that shit. Really? Right? Wow. Right? Okay. So I learned that, you know, I forgot where I was going with this. But anyways, I have been to other countries, right? No, no. Okay. Now uh, I remember. 
I don't know. So if when you got kids, city right on the outskirts of the United States counts as another fucking country. But all right, go ahead. Right, but it's still another country. No, you can tell, bro. Yeah, you bro, can I tell. Can, I can tell. I can tell when I'm going in from one city to another, just driving down the fucking road, Fuck, like oh shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? So no, yeah. when you got kids, no fucking shoes on, walking down the street, you fucking, you know. They're, hey man. you you pull in to a fucking store and they're like, "Hey, can I can I wash your windows for 5 pesos or whatever, right?" You know, and you're like, you're like, "Fuck, man." And you got a 1000 pesos in your pocket, you know, a 1000 pesos that's like, ain't that's shit. like a fucking that shit ain't shit, $2, bro. That's right, right. Now it's $2, but back then it was like fucking, I don't know, yeah, like, I can imagine. It was like fucking <laughs> It was like being rich, bro. I can live a, like a week on 1000 pesos. Anyways, um, you know, and you see that and you're like, fuck, man, this country is so different. And like you go, you know, 200 miles north and there's motherfuckers with running water. Like these houses didn't have no running water. You had to go out to the well and fucking. No, you know, you know, one thing, one thing that that always tripped me out that I rarely see in the United States What's that? Unless you go, unless you go like into the hood or like some shit like that, brother. Right. Um, one thing that really tripped me out is that, and I've been to many a countries, bro. I've been to many. I mean, I've been to probably like like ten, eleven countries. Okay. All different ones. Some Latin American. Right. Some fucking. I don't know whether I don't know what the fuck Bermuda is. What well, we'll from the country of Bermuda? I don't fucking know. Anyway, it's a all, it's, all types it's of shit. country. It's own country, right? That's what I figured. Yeah. All, all types of places, right? Right. Yeah. And every every single house, every single fucking house, dude, has fucking bars on the outside of their windows. Dude, yeah. Do you know how scary that shit was? They, to them, they're not scared because they, they that's the way they live. That's right. every day to them. Right. Bro, could you imagine if every right. house in the United States had to have bars on their windows? Right. That's because... So I'll tell you right now, in in L.A., parts of L.A., Okay, and it's mainly uh, Latin American uh, people. They all have those fucking bars on the window. Fucking bars on the fucking window. And you're like, why? Why do you have these bars? on? Now it makes sense. You've been to well, other think countries. About, think about the whole country having that shit, not just like the right. hood shit. Right, right, the right. Whole, everybody in there. Right. Like, that shit is normalized for them because they know on their roofs, on their roofs, they'll fucking, um, you know, they'll have whatever their, 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 their uh, tiles or whatever the fuck they have their roof made out of, right? Right. But they'll, they'll fucking rig like glue and broken glass bottles on there. Oh, Oh, okay, so well, why? Cause motherfuckers be on the roof, bro. Bro, that shit is crazy, man. There was a dude in Southern California. Now, we, this was illegal, but this is what he—that's what he did, bro. Is he put nails? He had a block wall around yeah. the back of his house. Yeah. He put nails, glass. He put all kinds of shit. He he scraped off the top yeah. of the mortar and he yeah. put all that shit up there yeah. and glued it all down. That shit's serious. Imagine being like. Well, what's the interstate around your way? The closest interstate? Forty, I forty, okay. or I thirty-five. Okay. Imagine you jumping on the I I forty or the I thirty-five, whatever the fuck, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a big pileup. You're wondering what the fuck is going on. You finally get to the head of the pileup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's the fucking police. But these aren't regular fucking American police. These are fucking. Other country police. Yeah. And yeah. they're walking around with AKs. All right. Big guns. Yeah. All right. Big yeah. guns. And guess what? Yeah. I'm listening. Everybody going through that shit gotta slide them some paper. Yep. Okay. And that and that happened. The, and that's the city or the country police that's doing that shit. That happened in Baja, California. Fuck yeah. We were in uh we had just crossed the border. We had uh-huh. just crossed the border, and we turned onto Highway 1, right? And my dad got pulled over. And he's like, uh-huh. I don't know what, I didn't do nothing wrong. What the fuck? He was, and the, and the, the fucking federality came up to the window, and he goes, hey, I need, yeah. I need some money. 
My dad's That's like, normal. I don't have a lot of money. Fucking he, and he gave him, you know, he gave him like. That's fucking normal. Yeah, he gave him like fucking 3,000 pesos, right? And that fucking, you know, that got him off of us. But, you know, that shit happens in other countries. That shit happens. It's can normalized I'm, in other countries. That can you normal. imagine if that shit happened right here? Like, oh, hey, you better carry around 100 bucks with you at all times. At all times. Yeah. Or, Freedom of speech. All right, that shit does not exist in other countries, buddy. Fuck around and go, go, go. Tell a cop some shit. <laughs> go Bro, spit in the fucking cop's face and see what happens. You might, you might not make it back. All that shit you fucking talking and all this fucking bullshit. All right, folks. Folks think they oh this fucking country is so bad. It's so yeah. horrible. Go visit one of them other countries that don't allow you to fucking speak your mind. Yeah, I don't know about Whoopi. I didn't get all that shit, but you see, Whoopi might have people. Whoopi got resources. She don't even got to watch the fucking video, and people would just... Oh, I know. They just feed her bullshit. But, she, yeah. She's like a puppet. She's like, ooh, let yeah. me talk I about mean, this. You never know. Maybe people research that little clip, like, you know, that little riot shit that happened? Maybe that particular clip had to do with a riot that was happening with Black Lives Matter. I don't fucking know. You know what I mean? All I'm saying is... Look, that's man. that's all footage. Okay, so I I know you you probably don't keep track of the news as as. Oh, no, I do. I definitely do. That's the that's the thing. Okay. All right. So all of that footage is from 2020. Okay. It's all from the summer of love, the mostly peaceful protest. In my opinion, if you're blowing shit up and you're burning shit, that's not peaceful, bro. I'll tell you what. That dude in Tiananmen Square that got run over by a fucking tank, that was peaceful. <laughs> you feel me? I mean, that I'm fucker just... got ran over a fucking goddamn tank, Ranger. How the fuck was that peaceful, dude? Uh, he, 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 went was in, peaceful. he went in there. He was peaceful. And what happened, Ranger? The, and, what the, happened? Yeah. and what happened? And what happened? He got, got ran over by got, a fucking tank. He got run over. What happened to MLK? He was peaceful, right? And he, he got was a fucking pe- he, he got he sniped. Got fucking, he got sniped. What he happened got sniped. to J what happened to JFK? He got sniped. And I just visited there. I you know seen what I mean? The, yeah, so, I seen the spot where he got fucking sniped too. I got I got thoughts about that, but we'll talk about that on yeah, another we'll talk podcast. About that for sure. <laughs> show. All right, uh, let's end this right here. Let's end this right here because uh, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Well, we've got plenty of stuff. I probably won't use all of it, but I'm going to use a good portion of it because I'm on the record. This is going to be recorded. I'm not having stopped recording yet. I haven't stopped recording yet. Tara, I I appreciate your opinion, and um, I know we don't always see eye to eye on everything, and that's what makes me a better person because of course. I can we fucking shouldn't. I can listen to you and go, all right, yeah, 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 I see your point of view. Yeah, I, I don't like motherfuckers like that, bro. Don't kiss my ass and fucking <laughs> tell me tell me what it is. We could agree to. I'm exactly. I'm I'm. I'm, I'm I, I feel that I am at least at the level to be able to agree to disagree. Yeah. Don't the problem. The problem right now is that people don't, they don't, they don't, they've lost the ability to be able to, to convey what their thoughts are and why they believe those things and think. Yes. I concur. You know what I mean? I they, concur. They, they would rather stay in a bubble, you know, and just have those people that are just like, yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. I believe in everything you say. Well, hold on a second. Like we already know that nobody's perfect. Okay, this, well, we know what happened. Perfect, right? David Caress. Oh uh-huh, shit. You feel me? Oh yeah, I believe everything you say, David. David, yes, come over here. Put a put a love child in my belly, bit, David. Motherfucker, and you saw what how that fucking ended. Should always question all. Yes. Always Everything. question all, and regardless of whether you agree after questioning it, at least you questioned it. Because if right. you don't question it, then who the fuck knows? You're just then you're, you're just like this. Then you're like this. Yes, I'm gonna walk like around with blinders on. You know, I'm just gonna fucking. I'm gonna be like, okay, here's the this is this is what's right. This is what's right. Nothing else. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
Nah, yeah, those those dudes, I, I really, those people that are like that, I really, fu- that, that shit annoys the fuck out of me. It, they annoy me almost as much as people who, who talk about things without having the information or have done the work to gain some sort of information to be able to talk about it. Like, if you're not, if you're not adept at whatever the conversation is, you shouldn't, you should be like, you know what? I don't know enough about this shit. And that's about it. Don't, don't just fucking, oh, well, you know, I heard this guy on the radio and I agree with what the fuck he said. And Dude, what it is. I respect the motherfucker more that says, hey, you know and, what? I don't know, but I'm going to go do some research and I'll come back and I'll let you know what I found out. Or, about or, at, or at least tell me, you know what? I don't give a fuck to know. Okay. Well, yeah, that's, exactly. That's, that's okay. If you don't give a fuck to know, but right. don't fucking don't be over here fucking yapping your mouth. Don't be bro. fucking going. Okay. Yeah. So I saw this and this and this and when you really a, have no idea what the fuck yeah. is going on. Come You're on, like, man. Oh yeah. I fucking saw that shit. I was there. I yeah. was with them. No, you weren't fucking. Cut I'm it good out. brother. I'm good brother. Yeah. I'm all with, with everything you see. Overall, just in case motherfuckers uh, watch this shit and get get a uh, or they don't understand where I'm coming from, uh, this Jason Aldean. Yeah, I am a very big proponent on the overarching message that he is giving off. Right, which is you should respect the United States. You know, it's the best country. It's it's giving me everything. I was born here. I'm a citizen here. I've lived here. Yeah. I pay my taxes. All that shit, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, don't fuck with cops, man. For the most part, don't fuck with cops, man. They're out there doing their job. They're doing a fucking more crazier job than you are for maybe less money than what you earn at your job. I'm not putting my fucking life at risk. That's why I'm not a fucking cop, right? That's right. Um, I agree with all that shit, and I, I think that, that the overarching thing is just be, being a good person. I wish everybody was a fucking good person. You know what I mean? I'm right that's there the way, with you. I'm that's right the way. That's you. the way society is going to be able. To- Little uh, background. I heard about this earlier this week. I wanted to make a video with the react with me today. As you can see on screen is a uh, local biz. I'm the blue collar Joe. We don't know what we're going to call this yet. Probably a segment. I don't know. It's what the fuck. What the nuts. Here's the deal. So this is a hot video and Biz doesn't listen to country music at all, like nothing. So he has no clue about this song and hasn't heard anything. So I wanted to get his honest reaction to this song. It's a Jason Aldean song. It's hot right now. Uh, I've never even heard of this dude. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so first off, I've I've heard this I've heard this several times, and every time I get the chills, I get the chills, you know, because I come from a military family, and mm-hmm. you know when he starts talking about stomping on the flag, it's like, ooh, you're touching the fucking nerve right there, buddy. Uh, I get what you're saying. I you get know, you. so. I just wanted to stop. I just wanted to address that right there. You know? oh, I could tell, like in the first ten seconds, when I see a Molotov cocktail, I was like, "Okay, here's what." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it gets better, yeah, but yeah. but if you if you listen listen real closely to the words, and and I plan on uh, getting the lyrics. So. Okay, well, just to say one thing real quick, just since we're at the beginning of the video, I don't know where we're going to go from here with the video, but at the moment, I could dig this kind of country compared to a lot of country because I could relate more to this than singing about a farm, a truck, and a horse. Do you get what I'm saying? Right. Or a tractor. Like, there's some kind of country that it's cool if you like, I, but I just can't relate to it. But this is more talking, seems about a social narrative and a social message that anybody could relate to. And the music sounds good so far. So, it, so far, this is more relatable to me than a lot of country I've heard. Okay. All right. Let's, let's Try that in a small town. See how far you take long for you to find out. I recommend you don't. 
I just had a fucking uh, a fucking flashback of watching all the peaceful protests of 2020. You, are you saying like the peaceful in air quotes? The air quotes peaceful protest? Is yeah, more- I am being uh, I am being a little sarcastic there because I, I, I get what you're saying. I don't know. To me, that doesn't look peaceful. It doesn't it look is, peaceful it, at all. There's nothing wrong with peaceful protest, but setting the shit on fire and looting definitely isn't peaceful. No. No. The kid in Tiananmen, in Tiananmen Square that got run over by the tank, that was peaceful. Yeah, that, yeah. Okay. This right here is not anywhere close to it. I, I just, I don't know. In my opinion, that's my opinion of it. All right, let's. You ready? Let's go. Mm-hmm. Let's go. Pause for a second. Yeah. All right. Just with all the videos I'm seeing in the background, I can't help but think half these people are like larpers. They're just larping. I've seen the videos of this stuff, like, other than just what they're showing in this. And these people actually, like, get in battle lines with, like, homemade shields to combat the cops and stuff. Like, it, it's crazy. Like, crazy, crazy, crazy. It's, and I, 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 like, see, I see where you're going. That's it, why say, it's like they're LARPers, it, dude. They're, <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like they're trying to get street, street cred. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, we're gonna we're gonna go down and we're gonna protest and we're gonna get arrested and that's gonna give us street cred with the you know the other activists out there. What they're doing has actual real life consequences, right? And like they're actually aggressively hurting other people. But to me, it seems like they're like in a fantasy world trying to play a role. It makes it important enough for them to. I guess in their mind, justify violence. Hmm. I. Uh, well, yeah. I'm just like that's the only thing that there has to be something that you think you're doing that is so worthwhile to justify violence, unless you just enjoy violence. I mean, that's the other option. That's that's part of the option that I think. All it takes is one psycho in a group of people. To start a riot. I okay, can, but the problem is now. Oh, sorry to cut you off. Go ahead. No, no. Go ahead. I was gonna. I was gonna say. I can. I speak from experience. I've. I've watched riots get started in prison, and I, all it takes is one person. Okay. Well, your analogy is good with what I was about to say because a prison is like a congregated areas to where psychos are higher than the norm. Mm-hmm. Correct. Yes. Okay, but with the internet. Okay, if one in every hundred people is psycho, right, and there's millions of people that live in a state that all have access to the internet that can organize locally, you could really end up with two thousand wackos with homemade riot gear fighting the cops. This is true. Here's my opinion. Okay, and I I agree with your sentiment. I agree with your sentiment. But I believe that that uh, folks who destroy things like that have never owned anything or worked hard to get anything. Let's use January 6th as, a, as, a, as an example. So what I'm saying is is like, okay, if you look at the the makeup of the people who, went from the Trump rally to the, right? Mm-hmm. Those people, some of them traveled 3,000 miles. And, yes. I, and I think that there was a, a call to action in the underground that got some, you know, some people that were wanting to see something like that happen. 
I agree. Well, it, it it just comes down to the double edged sword of the internet. The internet facilitates right. like people being able to connect, you know, non locally, and then be able to organize to meet locally, and that can be used for good or bad. So it's not really the internet's fault. It's just a byproduct of what the internet is. Right. 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 Okay. Let's 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 watch the last little bit of this song. Then we'll close. We'll close with uh, our final thoughts on it. Somebody needs some help. You'll get it. Okay. okay. All right. All right. So I live. You know, I live in in Oklahoma, right? Mm-hmm. I am thirty minutes from any farm community. Okay. I live in a big city. I live in the biggest city in, in Oklahoma. Mm-hmm. Um, but I will tell you this. I will tell you this. I drive into this small town every morning at between 5.30 and 6 o'clock. Or no, between 6.30 and 7 o'clock. Okay? <laughs> There's a gas station in town. All the farmers meet up there in the morning. And they all, I've, I've stopped in there just to be like, hey, hey guys, nice to see you, uh, mm-hmm. you know. And, um, but it, that's that small town feel, you know, you've got, you got a group of 20 guys, man. They meet up every morning and they have coffee at the, at the gas station, you know. And if something, if something goes wrong on somebody's ranch or somebody's farm or, you know, Say your say your cattle gets out. Guess what? Everybody in the neighborhood's gonna come and help you get your cattle back in the, uh, you know, in the pens. So I definitely I I can definitely relate with that because I've been, uh, I've been part of you know helping people. Mm-hmm. I got you. Yeah, I got kind of the opposite of that. I live in a small town, but not like um even though it's in the south there's not like the, the local hospitality that you just mentioned like um i've lived next to people for 20 years and i don't even know their name or face like i don't even know who my Bro, neighbors are i know both of my neighbors I got, <laughs> I got one on one side sean on the other and they're both fucking really cool people i got neighbors like every i, I yeah. know nobody dude Juan is like, hey, man, we're having fucking uh, tacos. You want to come over? And I'm like, nah, bro, I got shit going on. I'll fucking see you around. He's always, you know, it's that neighborhood deal, though. I mean, everybody's nice and friendly, but there's no there's no neighborly love or community really here. Right. That's interesting. Well, yeah, I mean, I think if you get more into... Cause I I know kind of where you live. If you get more into rural, like a thousand people, fifteen hundred people in the town, you get more of that camaraderie of everybody's trying to, you know. It it takes a village, you know, basically. The population of my town is seven thousand eight hundred. Okay, so you're like so it's a little bit bigger than that, like seven so times what you're talking about. So you're like a Hamlet. <laughs> yeah, we got above that number where people stop caring about each other, kind of thing is what we did. Yeah, I think five thousand is like the well, maybe less than that, maybe like two twenty five hundred. But I've been in some towns. All right, so there's some towns here in Oklahoma that I've been in that. You can tell if they didn't have a prison nearby or if there was no manufacturing at all nearby that they would not, you know, stores had closed and moved on, uh, you know. But there's still that small town feel. And I and I get I get what he's saying when he says don't try it in a small town, you know, because you're more likely to get, let's say you're trying to snatch somebody's purse on main street, fucking small town, main street. You're going to have three or four dudes fucking at, at, like coming at you. Mm-hmm. You know, that's more likely to happen in a big city. 
shit. Someone gets raped on the damn uh, subway and people just stand there and watch and get their phones and take a video. Now that's 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 horrible. Now here's the thing though, like here, um it's definitely grown, like I said, beyond the point where people really give a fuck about each other. Right. And I'd say it's been that way like my whole life. So at least thirty plus years. Like there's not a time I can remember where it hasn't been that way. Mm-hmm. And it, there's just been a lot of development, and there's just really no way that um, you could get a small town buy back into a town once when it's gone. I concur with that sentiment. I mean, the only like, once when it's gone, it's gone. I think the only way it could happen is depopulation. Like you know, people move out. A lot of people would move out, and like the mainstay people would be still living there like the people that have been there for you know they're they're like third generation in that town yeah you know? now i will say we haven't got to the point where there's crime like there's still like i mean there's you know civil crime like domestic crime but there's yeah. not like robberies or violent crime like right. the only time there's violent crime here is if it's like organized crime coming from the city down to this area and they'll hit a couple houses or a couple cars or something and be gone right all right let's see here where are we at okay all right now i'm gonna say right away i feel i've done this reaction a little bit of uh, injustice just because i don't know enough country music to compare this to anything okay like the guitar is good the words are good but i don't really have anything to compare it okay to. let me ask you a couple questions let's let's step back for a second and and because the music the song is good we both we both agree that the song is good. It has a good mm-hmm. message, all of that, right? And the video that he put together, you know, for the music video, it's, it's it has um it touches some feelings, all right. So, mm-hmm. in the video itself, did you see anything that kind of made it seem like he's a uh, racist or trying to uh, portray? Uh, lynchings or something like that? No. The only objectionable thing I would have at all with any of this video is that small town stuff is cool as long as you're not disparaging or unwelcoming to outsiders that are not causing a problem. Okay. I, I get that. And most small towns I've been to like uh I'll, I'll tell you there's a there's a small town near here they have a bar it's famous for its fried chicken right i went in there and uh yeah i've never been here before uh you know i'm new uh i actually live in the city but i you know i heard about this place and came out here oh well come on in sit down and Oh, can I get you some sweet tea or or would you you know care for a beer or something and uh it was really welcoming okay so i would say that the small town vibe as long as you're not actively trying to tear stuff up in the town they're they're really friendly no, but I was just thinking in my mind, I could imagine small town situations where they might not be too welcoming to outsiders, regardless of whether they're doing anything wrong or not. Right. So I was just saying in a theoretical sense, that's where I would have an issue with it if that was the case. Um, yeah, I think. OK, so. So uh, there was some disparaging comments I heard today. I heard today. Um, you you know the show The View, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so I never watch it, but I know it. I, yeah. I never watch it either, but you know I I follow um, 
I follow events, okay? We'll just put it that way. I don't I don't I don't follow, you know, MSNBC or CNN or Fox. It's just, I follow events, okay? Mm -hmm. And I try and get multiple I, I try and get my information from multiple sources. I got gotcha. you. You know, not excluding the ones I've already mentioned, but I, I try and get it for, I, I try and get my information from multiple sources because I honestly believe that you should so that you can sift through all the minutia and come make your own, you know, conclusion, come to your own conclusion from the facts, you know. Um, but they said, and uh, Whoopi was one of the ones that was the ringleader here. She said that... Um, uh, that he's attacking BLM in that video. If showing their actions without even naming who they are is attacking BLM, then that says more about BLM. Than that the says video. more about Whoopi than it does about BLM. Okay, but it's not like this video said showed the footage of people looting and rioting and then hadn't captioned BLM over here. Yeah. It, it never named any organization or a group or anything like that. It was literally just clips of people doing what they were doing. Right. And, you know, we're not condoning. I just want to let that make that known. We're not condoning any of the actions of 2020, any of them. Whether they were positive or negative, uh, whether they were on the side of the police or on the side of the citizens. We don't condone any violence here. Uh, although, I will say this. Sometimes violence is needed. Well, that's what I was about to say. I'm more on the Taoist perspective to where I believe there's sometimes violence is justified, even though... Sometimes. But like I said, to me, that's more when your life is on the line. Not like when you're living some LARPer fantasy that whatever power it be that you're fighting makes it okay just to burn down buildings, cars, and attack cops. Right. There's a difference. Exactly. Exactly. I mean, it's one thing if you're fighting for your life. But. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not a government apologist either. Like, there's a bunch of conspiracies I believe in. There's a bunch of the government is by any means not free from ridicule or guilt or you. You get what right. I'm saying? Oh, don't even think I'm I'm a uh, pro government either, bro. I'm like uh, I'm a small government guy. Well, I'm just saying, like, don't get the wrong picture here, cause um. Yeah, I don't trust the government. For I shit. think I think we need I think we need one dude, right, and then uh, a few dudes to represent the the states, right, and then one dude to control the fucking uh, the um, the military, and then leave everything else to the states. You know what I'm saying, like. <clears throat> Law, law like laws and shit like the the way the the government is set up now it's like bro there's so many of them <laughs> the problem is is the states have systematically and willingly given over power to the government for the last several hundred years i know i know and it's supposed to be a state's right states rights so it's just been a little gradual sliding thing that just to where now it's gotten to the point where the states look to the federal government to solve many of the issues that they should be responsible for yes 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 it's like, but hey, that's the thing. That's the thing, though. Once when you take that, it, once when that state starts taking that federal money, the federal government's then got its talons in to where it has more authority over the state. And it's just like when you go and uh, let's say you have a business, right? And you go and you look for investors, right? 
And uh, the the investor goes, okay, I'm gonna give you, uh, you know, this one million dollars for ten percent, right? Mm -hmm. But with that ten percent, I get I get, uh, you know, voting uh, voting rights and all that shit on the board and all, and I get to I get to to critique your day to day operations. You know, it's like mm -hmm. <clears throat> you're asking for a lot for this million dollars, bro. And that's how the government's doing it. They're like, oh, yeah, hey, look, we've got this grant. But in order to get this grant, let me tell you, this is what you got to do, all right? So mm -hmm. you've got to let this happen and this happen and this happen. And you got to overlook this. And we're going to go ahead and do this. And, we're, you know, we're going to take half your land. It's like, oh, hold on a second. <laughs> you know? Well, it's just once when you start asking favors from the federal government, like as a state, then there's going to be obligations given up for that. Like you're going to be either giving up state authority over specific matters because the government's now putting its money in the pool. and It's just all kind of stuff that, but the states have done it. Like I said, just. Yeah. Okay. Know. Okay. For instance, like, uh, you know, 2020. Everybody laid down and was like, yeah, no, I don't, I don't, we don't want, we want safety. We don't want our rights. And okay. Go ahead. <laughs> I, I got something to say to that, but go ahead. I think you know where I'm going though, because well, once uh, you lay down and give up your rights, you're not getting them back. They're not okay, going to, they're not going to voluntarily give you your rights back. You have to take them back. Okay. I went to go see Bill Burr when he came to town. Mm -hmm. And That's as he said, right there. when he first walked in the building, there's never been a pandemic here. No one ever wore masks here. There was none of that shit here ever. Throughout Bro. the whole pandemic, nobody ever. Bro, the only place I had to wear a mask in this entire state was at Walmart. Now there were other places in the state, but I'm talking about like my town and the local like city yeah, yeah, and stuff. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Nobody ever like it was never a pandemic. It, the pandemic just blew over. It didn't affect nobody. That's, that's how it was right here too. I'm telling you, bro. Like Walmart would be like, put your mask on, and it's like, okay, fucking Walmart, settle down. You're fucking getting too big for your fucking britches. <laughs> that was literally one of Bill Burr's jokes when they came through. He's like, I know there's been a pandemic for the last several years for everybody, but you guys... Bro, the east, the left coast and the right coast were like, yeah, put it, put it all on. Fucking stay in your houses and right here, dude, I'm not gonna lie. They were like, hey, so uh, I, I, was, I was over the road at the time. Well, semi over the road. And my boss goes, hey, um, we have this hot load down in Texas. We need, we need you to fucking go get it. I go, dude, we're crossing the state line? He goes, Psh. man, I go down to Texas, right? Okay, so right here in, in Oklahoma, some of the shippers were like, yeah, you guys got to wear a mask, blah, blah, blah. Okay, fucking mm -hmm. whatever. As long as I'm in my truck, you can't tell me what to do because it's my truck. I get down to Texas. And I'm wearing a mask, and they're like, uh, what's wrong with you, boy? <laughs> I'm like, what you mean, what's wrong with me? We don't wear no masks around here. We ain't had the government tell us shit. I was like, whoa. All right, settle down there. Fuck. Do I need to, like, get a gun or something? Like, you're, like, really wanting me to fucking carry a gun right now. It, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the vibe you was getting. Mm-hmm. It's like, it's like, dude, it's so masculine around here. I need to, <laughs> you know, I need to carry a gun and fucking wear a 10 gallon hat. And <laughs> 10 gallon hat. Jeez. Yeah. I know. All right. Let's end this. Let's end this right here. If you've uh, made it this far in this video, uh, we appreciate you. We appreciate I feel you. sorry for your poor soul. I feel sorry for my poor soul too. But uh we just wanted to share our reaction cuz my reaction the first time I heard it I broke down and cried cuz I was like 
I was like, man, he's right. It's like, you know, you go to small town America and it's, don't break into somebody, you know, you don't, you don't, you don't break into somebody's house or into some, because everybody's going to know who it was, you know, and then they don't have cameras and all that shit. It's like Jim Bob got drunk and he started talking about all this cool shit. He stole out your fucking car, you know, I got you. But anyhow, uh, at this point, I thank you for watching. Um, and we'll catch you in the next video. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and say my, uh, my catchphrase. We're gone like a fart in the wind. All right, welcome to the show. My guest today is uh, PB Blaster. All right, PB, PB what we're going to do is uh i know you've heard of jason aldean right you've yeah, heard of him yeah you kind of know who he is uh so he's released uh a new song i get the song but i also see why some people are getting mad at it because that did look like the rallies for the black lives matter so i could see them interpreting that as him saying the black Lives matter rallies in their town but also i get from the song that that is um just like in general people coming and destroying stuff in their town they shouldn't they shouldn't do that i don't think they're talking about like those route he's talking about the rallies in general no i think okay i'll I'll give you my take and because i've i've shared my take okay I, you know i live i live in a rather big city however yeah I also work in a small town. My boss calls me. I'm hauling fucking uh, material. Right? And he says, hey, I need you to come pick up your backhoe and go over to uh, Farmer Stan's house. He's got a cow that, uh, that has uh, fallen ill and is sick. Right? Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, what do you need me to do? He goes, I need you to dig a grave for that cow. All right. All right. I get over there, and there's already two other farmers, one with a backhoe, one with a fucking, uh, with a loader. They have the cow already picked up. They have the whole dug and all that, right? Because it's a small town. You know, we take care of each other. Some of yeah. these, Some of these folks need something. I will say this. He did use a lot of controversial video footage for his video. I will yeah, say that. He did. He absolutely did. So Whoopi said basically what you said right there was that, that oh, he's attacking Black Lives Matter. But you know what's funny is if you go back and watch that video, and like I said, I've watched that video many a times. If you go back and watch that video, he does not mention any affiliation to any group. Like he doesn't he doesn't say, "Oh, I'm calling out Black Lives Matter." But you also look and you go, "Well, I don't really see too many black people either." Um, <laughs> you know, it's like well, how are you fucking coming to this conclusion that we're calling out Black Lives Matter if the guy that lights the fucking uh, flag on fire is white? Right. Uh, the guy that fucking throws the shit through the goddamn you know police station window is white. Now I understand he he obviously he fucking he touched some fucking folks's nerve center, right? I understand that. This gentleman who just wants to sell records, right? Made a song. Okay, well, well then we might as well fucking cancel Lee Greenwood, right? Because yeah. Lee Greenwood was all about America. And from my perspective, that's what that video is from. It's from the America First. It's like, hey, you know, we got a lot of issues right here in America. We need to fucking fix that shit here. 
we don't we don't need to be over abroad and overseas and whatnot, right? Right. Right. Because some folks, I'll I'll put this out there. Some folks are just straight looking for conflict. Like, oh, you don't believe the same as me? Oh yeah, I said yeah. There is a lot of people like that that are looking for the conflict or drama twenty four seven. And I'm so glad that in our group nobody is like that. Right. And that's that's one thing uh, about our glu- group that I like. I I dude, I love it. Okay. And that's where I think this video is. A lot of people are going, oh, my God, what the fuck is he thinking? Saying some shit like this. And you're like, hold on a minute. You don't like America? And I think that's what's happening is he deliberately, Jason Aldean or the people that were a part of this video, deliberately put those pictures in there those videos and said do what you want with them but you're not going to listen to the song but if you listen to the song and you listen to the lyrics and you think about it like from a uh analytical th- standpoint right yep. and you're like okay so what he's saying is you sucker punch somebody in their face who likes to get sucker puns in their face? Well, I don't. Mm-mm. And then he shows fucking somebody throwing a Molotov cocktail through a window. Oh, it? fuck. Right? Yeah. So it's like that sentiment. Okay, here's what I'm saying. But here's what I'm showing you. It's like, oh, hey, uh... You don't want to fucking uh, pull a gun on uh, on a liquor store owner in a small town because you won't get down the street very far. Right. Because in a big city, you go to a big city, right? And you're like, hey, uh... You're like, hey, man, uh, so you're in a big city and you're like, you rob a store, you're more likely to get away. Right? Right. But in a small town, you might have fucking Joe Blow cop. All right, so the liquor store's right here. The fucking car wash is right here. The fucking police station's right next door. Literally. In a small town. That's what I'm saying. So, like, how fast can a cop get there? Seconds, right? Yeah, very fast. That and in a small town, 9, 10, 10, if you're at a liquor store or something like that, the owner is usually the one that's working, and they will chase you. As soon as you start to leave, they will fucking shoot you in the back. Okay, I don't know how, uh, how much you paid attention to the video. There is a video that went viral in that video where these two young uh, black gentlemen walked into a liquor store or a convenience store, excuse me. For those of you on the East Coast, he locked into a convenience store and the first one had a had a gun, right? And there was a, yeah. uh, a veteran that was getting ready to check out and he walked up to him he started to pull the gun and you saw him he disarmed him took the gun knocked him down and his partner the dude that walked in with him you know because some folks just can't do shit by themselves ran out the fucking door he ran out the fucking door and his partner was on the ground he got up and ran out the door too because he was like yeah, I'm not getting caught by the cops. That's why I'm like, here, listen to the words, right? If yeah. I, if I gave you the words to the video and took away the visual of the video and just gave you the words, and was like, yeah, so if you want to act like a fool, right? And what they're saying is if you want to act like a fool, carjack an old lady, sucker punch somebody, rob a fucking liquor store, 
right? Or a convenience store, whichever one. Bring that to a small town and see what happens. Final thoughts. Final thoughts. The video, him or his producers, whoever's idea it was to use the Sit BLM back. rally in that, whoever, <laughs> whoever's idea it was to put the videos from the BLM rallies in there, done that absolutely for view purposes. If you would listen to the song without the video, you would never have even thought that. Um. Okay, one other thing I wanted to bring up to you. Do you know this? Do you, do you know the show The View? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, I've never watched it. Yeah, neither have I. I mean, I've watched a few episodes. Don't get me wrong, but like, I was like, "What the fuck is this shit?" Then it's like Whoopi and fucking some other broad. Whoopi said that she believed that this was an attack on Black Lives Matter, and that he was promoting lynching and sundown communities. If you don't no. know what a sundown community is, basically it was a community that uh, at sundown, if you were a person of color, you needed to be in your home. You couldn't be out on the streets. You couldn't be working. You couldn't be nothing. So... What do you think about those comments that Whoopi made on The View? Okay, so when BLM first was noticed by like the news media and everything for the rallies, Whoopi was a huge inspirer on that. And knowing her views, that does not knowing her views on it, it does not surprise me whatsoever. Um. I think the people who think that just want attention or something to be mad or aggravated at the liberals stand by thoughts on a bunch of stuff which does not make sense to me and this is like that in that standpoint I don't get how she can have those views reaction to the video like that or the thoughts that he's trying to promote the lynching and everything else it's just in this video in the video from Jason Aldean, do you see, okay, wait, not do you see, but from the words, do you feel that there's racism in there? No, not at all. I did not feel that whatsoever. Like, n not at all. Like, nothing. Like, no, no racism at all. No, like, I did not feel any. If a uh, if a black dude was like, yeah, man, uh, I feel the same way about America. It's like, okay, me too. <laughs> you know, yeah. It's yeah. like I don't really see that how people are like, yeah, he's he's attacking black folks. Yeah, I, no, I don't understand how? that. I don't see that whatsoever. He. <laughs> He doesn't say anything in the in the music video. He doesn't or in the music lyrics. He doesn't say anything in skin purple. He's just literally saying that when stores are getting robbed, places are getting burnt, that they shouldn't try that in a small town because they're gonna the, the close town. It's like a neighborhood, like a family essentially. That's how they treat their neighbors and stuff.
for me, bitch. Here I go. I heard you've been looking for me, bitch. Here I go. I hear that you're looking for me, bitch. Here I go. 